Hi guys, this is Anupam and welcome to vPower. In this video, we are going to integrate our vCenter to Active Directory. This is going to be a very basic video, but will help you to integrate your Active Directory with the vCenter. We will directly go to our vCenter, go on your configuration tab. You will find Active Directory and domains from where you are first of all supposed to join your vCenter to domain first. Now, let me click on that Active Directory domain. Click on join AD, provide the domain name, in my case it's marvel.com, I'll type username, I'm just using my standard ID based on your organization, make sure you have right permissions on or with you handy, I click on join. So it's joined. The next thing is to I have to make sure that it is rebooted this node, and that's when we can do it. So I'll go to my management. I'll click on reboot. I'll be back once the reboot is done. So my reboot is done in my case. You can see it's already joined to domain. Now let's add to an identity source. The time we click there, click on add. Once you click on add, you can see everything is already pre-filled, and your domain is marvel.com. I'm gonna use my machine account. Click on add. Voila. So my vCenter is added to my domain that is marvel.com. My next job is to create groups. I'll show you what, how you should do it. N not give permission to individual users, but you should create groups. And let me rename this for you first. Yeah. So in my case, what I'm doing is I'm creating two different groups. One is vCenter admins and one is vCenter users. Based on your organization levels, maybe L1, L2, L3 admins. You can have your groups created in my case i'm just creating two which is vcenter admin and vcenter user so admin is created let me create vcenter user let me uh, I'll go to vCenter admin, I'll add administrator as the member of it. In my case, just to show a demo, I'll just do this. Now let's go to users in group. I'll just give you a look here that if you actually scroll down and have marvel.com selected, you can see a lot of users have already been imported. Anupam administrator, so a lot of existing users, whatever uh, exist on my domain are already imported. You can have a lot of groups as well now um, this is pretty much let me go to roles and explain you a little bit about that so you have administrator you have many other roles uh, in this you have on the right side you can see uses privileges and description so on the left hand side what you see are multiple roles like nsx admins you have a uh, lot of other things i have to power this off so you can choose any of the existing roles or you can even create your own role. So if you create on new roles, you have so many options out here. In my case, suppose I just want to specify somebody with the data store access. You can specify that or you can provide a granular level of access. Let me click cancel. And uh, so this is uses, this is privilege. You can actually review the privilege from here. Now, let me not waste my time. Let me provide that particular group a full permission at the vCenter level, which I just created. That is vSphere admins vcenter admins my bad we'll go to vcenter permissions click on plus search for the group it will change it to marvel.com vcenter admins just search for it yes here it is let's click on that i'm going to provide it as an administrator based on your requirement just provide that select on propagate to the children click ok and voila you have provided the access to the vcenter Okay, since we have already provided the access, let me log off and log in again to validate if my access is provided. So I'm going to use administrator marvel.com, not the local.com. And let me fill the password. Click on login. Here it is. So I have successfully logged in. So, guys, this was a basic overview of my vCenter installation, not the installation, but the integration with an Active Directory. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments. Thank you for watching.